In Creo Parametric 11.0, Generative Design now supports the ability to set the desired minimum feature size of the resulting geometry, which will control the optimization thickness. On the screen is a part that I previously optimized and reconstructed in Generative Topology Optimization. Reviewing the model, I noticed that there are many sections of the design that have thin profiles. While the results had achieved the goals for the optimization, these sections might result in manufacturing challenges or areas of high stress. Redefining the generative feature, I can now update the design criteria to include minimum feature size. Under the Add Constraint pull-down menu, there is a new geometry constraint called Minimum Feature Size. Selecting the constraint will add it to the design criteria where I can add the desired minimum size for the feature. The value set should be three times greater than the minimum element size of the optimization. For this model, the minimum element size is 8 millimeters. So the value for the minimum feature size should be greater than 24. I'll set it to 35 millimeters. With that set, I can now rerun the optimization to generate the optimal shape with this new constraint. During the optimization, the value will be included in the study to make sure that there are no areas of the resulting shape that are less than 35 millimeters. Once the optimization is complete, I can reprocess the reconstruction to yield a rich BREP model based on the optimal results. This enhancement will enable users to define the minimum feature size for the optimization to capture their design intent. This will help control the thickness of the resulting geometry to avoid thin walled structures in the optimization that might lead to high stress points or manufacturing challenges.